Hello. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the UFT artificial intelligence engine um, to do actually shift left testing um, based on mockups which are provided by the UX team. Um, so basically, the workflow will look like uh, you will receive a mockup. Uh, it could be in any kind of uh, either image or a mockup which can be viewed in in the browser. Yeah. Then based on this mockup, you can create uh, a test using the UFT AI engine. And once you have created the test and the application is available, you can run the test uh, to see how the coverage looked like. So if you were able to execute the test based on the mockup uh, you have um, uh, received and um, if all the steps you have defined in the test were performed correctly. And for this, um, we will have the mockups in our ELM Octane yeah, so as an image file. So I will just uh, give you a short uh, overview how this will look like, and then we will go into the actual identification and try to build our test. So let's go to Octane. So this is basically my backlog um, structure I'm currently in. And here I have a feature called authentication. And under authentication, I have different backlog items. As you can see, I have here as a user, if I enter a wrong password or username, I should receive an error message. I want to re register to the app. I want to reset my password or change my uh, profile picture. And this app is not yet available. Huh? So we can um, build exactly, we can. We will receive mockups for this app and we will build the test cases on this. And the mockups are also linked to the feature so you can see here is the feature, and here I have uh, the mockups, which are currently in the requirements uh, document. So I can see here, this is a home page mockup, which I can open. I can see here I have some um, yeah, some uh, buttons, which allows me to search, log in, visit my card, go to the help page. Here a menu for accessing different areas of the application. Here you have the logo, and this is basically the design. So, and also for the login screen, you have here a design um, which you received as an image in this case. And also here uh, you have a design for register user app. So what we will do is we will try to create a test case based on this UI where we are going to log in, uh, trying to log in to the, um, to the application. And uh, if we receive an error message, then this test should be passed. Yeah? Because this is also a user story we are having here. Um, we will build the test for this user story. And on this user story, I've already assigned, I can see here the error message, which I should receive. And on this user story, I've already an acceptance test uh, package created. Um, where I will then later on put my test case in. Yeah? So currently, I can see here, this is my package. Yeah? So let's go now to the automation environment. So here in this machine, I have now installed UFT and I will create a new test case. So let's go here and create in UFT, uh, for sure, GUI, GUI uh, test case. So let's say shift uh, left using AI. And I will basically create it here directly in UFT. So now UFT has created the test. Now I can start building the test based on the images I received. So first of all, what I need to do is I need to start the AI identification. Yeah, so the AI identification is now loaded. And I can see here, uh, I just, he's asking for me to choose a browser or mobile device to identify the objects. And we will now go into the first mockup, which is here, the home page. And I would like to click on this button, which is a profile button to 
really see the login screen and then enter my username and password, which will be invalid and see if there is an error message appearing. Yeah? So this is basically the user story, what I received and I'm building now the test case, even the application does not exist yet. So let's go now to UFT and choose actually this in Octane, you know, this attachment, which is shown as a picture. Um, I will now show and the AI engine has started to work now. And we will see now that here he has identified the objects uh, we are seeing. Um, it's also possible to identify by text. So all these other elements will be highlighted then. All the text, even the text from ALM Octane, you can see is highlighted. But I want to work on visual objects. So I can see here there's a profile uh, object, which I need to click first. So let's say this is fine for me. And now let's go to the next uh, one. After this, I expect the login screen to appear. So the login screen will appear and look like this. I'm not sure what the dev team uh, will release, but it should look like this mockup. So let's go back into UFT. And the identification is running. And it says here exactly it has identified the username. Let's see, here we have the password. And after this, I would like to sign in to the app. And this should be it, I guess. This is fine. Yes, and once I'm done, I will uh, close the. Uh, I need also to check the error message. This is also important, but let's fill in here. Let's say this is UFT AI is the username, UFT AI. The password is uh, UFT AI. And then I click here and we should receive an error message. And here with the AI util, I'm able to check if this error message exists. So either I can use find text or find text block. Let's say we go for find text block and we say the error message we received in the user story. Let me quickly copy it. So this is a user story and here I can see the error message. Just copy it directly here. So this is what we will look for. And once I'm done, I will uh, close the browser. So, but now um, this is the test case, what I have uh, written so far using UFT. And now I need to prepare, you know, the whole opening the browser, entering the URL and so on. So let's uh, do that now directly. What I need to do is I need to, first of all, start the browser here. I can use the system util run command and enter the browser pass in this environment. So I will keep it simple for now, just to demonstrate the feature itself. And once a uh, browser is started, I can say I would like to uh, just directly take the first one and um, with the index zero. Uh, I expect only this one to be opened and then I will navigate to, let's say this should be WHTTP advantage ad, advantage online shopping dot com and once I've done this I will wait for the browser to load the application so again index zero and then sync so once the application is loaded I will let it uh, use the AI capabilities here, which I have defined. And after that, once we are done, we'll close the browser. Yeah? So this is basically what we will plan to execute. And let's save this for now here. And in Octane now, what I can do is, I can go back to the backlog module, to the backlog items. And in the backlog items, I can see here, they are grouped. Let me remove the 
filter and grouping, select my user story. On that user story, I see I have a test package. And in that test package, while I have um, this UFT test, I need to just commit it to my um, repository so Octane will get it because Octane is connected to my repository. Let's say this is an initial commit. AI demo. See it in ELM Octane. So, okay, the commit is done. Push is uh, also succeeded. So here we are good. Now let's go to ELM Octane. So here I can see I'm in the uh, package um, Advantage Online uh, Shopping. And from here, I should basically go first of all here to the authentication, authentication. And from the authentication, I can go to the user story. And you will see what Octane is doing. He's building the whole traceability for me here on the top. Then from this user story, I go to the acceptance test, where I have all the acceptance tests basically listed for this user story. And now I can add exactly the test which I created. Let's say shift left using AI here. So this is the one we have just created. We will add it here. And now we will wait until the development team uh, will release the application. And then we will run the test. Yeah. Okay, so let's first see how the application looks like. So we received finally the application now. And we can go back here to the requirements where we have our mockup. And in the mockup, I can see this is basically what we received from the UI team. And let's take a look how the application looks like after it has been released. And this is the advantage online shopping. So it's a bit different what, uh, than what we have received. We can see here compared to, um, to the mockup, it looks a bit different. Yeah, so the user navigation is here and the menus are only available if I have enough. So it's a responsive app. So I can see it's here. Um, let's click here on the user profile. Yeah, it's also a bit slightly different. If I go here, it was with another screen color, but the rest looks more or less the same. Yeah, so it's very similar. Sign in button. So this looks good, I would say. So let's say the application is now available and I am also ready to run the test. So I will save it here. The test is already part of the suite, which is fine. So let's close it for now on this machine. And from here, I will now go to the Backlog items, see my user story, which is here. And here I have also my test. Let's take another view like this. Here, here's the acceptance test. And on that acceptance test, I can now execute a run. We have already the test assigned to it. So let's run the suite directly from here. So let's run. It will create here a suite run for me, which I can also monitor. I see here that it is planned. If I go back, let me go back here to the suite runs. I can see now it should start soon. So it has now started. So on my client machine where the UFT engine is running here, very soon, um, the application, the uh, browser will start loading the application. And this is the first time the test uh, we have created is uh, going to see the application yeah, using the AI engine. And we saw it already that the application was not 100% designed, uh, provided by the UX team uh, mockups. 
it has a bit uh, uh, UI differences from, from color and also the buttons are not on the same uh, area. So here we can see that the profile button is on the right hand side in the mockup it was on the left hand side but still you saw it uh, uft ai engine uh, was able to capture it and uh, select it and now it should enter the name using the mockup uh, description uh, we have provided so it's able to identify even the username field of this web application and now, now after this it should enter the password click on sign in and now we received the error message, so it should close the browser now. Yeah, and I guess we are done. So let's refresh here. Yeah, so now you can see it has uh, passed. So we were able to uh, execute the test um, using our AI engine based on the mockups provided. And we saw that the mockups were not 100% implemented in the same uh, in the same flavor. And there were differences about the location and about the colors, but still the UFT engine, AI engine, was able to capture those um, objects and execute the test. So that was basically it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time.